So we're going to take part in eight pieces of brocade. So we're going to stand with our feet grounded to the floor. Imagine we've got that golden thread that lifts us up from the very top of our head. And relax our shoulders. Just let our arms be by our side. We take that deep breath, fill the lungs, and slowly, gently breathe out. And as you do so, relax the shoulders, soften the joints so the knees are soft. Notice the ground beneath your feet, the muscles in our face, and our jaw all relaxed. So our first move is to support the sky. To do this, we bring our hands to our lower backs again. The palms are up. Gently going to sink down and bring the hands up with us. We sink the hands over towards our shoulders and push upward as we sink a little more. Now this is our first move. So things may not be warmed up. Just take it easy. Don't push yourself too much to start with. And then gently lifting yourself towards your hands, so lengthening the legs as opposed to bending the elbows more. So take your time with this, we're going to come downward again. All the time, just relax with your breath, taking breaths in and out, not holding our breath. Taking the palms up, maybe this time noticing what's happening with your palms. Are you pressing them up? You've got your fingers pressed. Taking the fingers back. So in our own time, we're going to come down and bring the hands again to so as you can see with the three of us we're doing things in a different time and that's okay you don't rush you don't have to follow the timing that we're doing it's however you feel you might want to take things slower you might want to challenge yourself so and the next move we do is to draw the bow so we've brought the hands up towards the middle of the chest this time and we're going to start by extending away the left arm, gently turning this gaze down the length of the arm and bringing the right elbow back. Turning the palm up, keeping the back lengthened. Going to finish with more on each side. And then we're going to come back to the centre. You bring those hands down again to our neighbour on your own back again. So our next move is called separate heaven and earth, alternating hands is also known. And we're going to take the left hand high and press the right hand downward. So just as we did with our first set of moves, we have the palms of the hands pressing away Bringing the hands come past each other in front and then we extend away. So just as with the previous moves that we've been doing, we're noticing how our body feels. We bring things to be comfortable, it's good to challenge ourselves and that might be in a number of repetitions or you notice that we're turning slightly towards the lower hand. 
We will be mindful on our knees not to twist the force of movement. Just take your fingers slowly. Be able to stop if we need to. Notice how our joints are not locked out. We've got a bend still in our knees, still in our elbows. The wrists are pulled back. The fingers are not locked into position. to finish numbering our right hand is extended above and the left hand is pressing down. Maybe you come back to the centre. Okay, settling, lowering the, the hand. So you might want to take a moment in between each of these. Just notice how you feel. You might want to stop. You may have done Enough, but we're going to go through all of the postures and moves. Okay, so the next one, known as looking back as a cow with gaze to the moon. This one we're going to bring the arms in front. Notice how they're of this chest height, not overstretching, there's softness in the arms. Okay, so palms are towards us, we're grounded, we're still being lifted by that golden thread. We're gently going to turn again to the left as we do so. We turn the palms away. So notice how our lower body is staying forward. And we're turning from the waist. We're back to the center. Palms have turned inward again as we move. And as we turn to the right, the hands gently push away. This time gently going back to the centre. So a common thing that we see in our students is that people take the movement too far. The movement can be slow. The movement can be small. Notice how our hands are not coming past our shoulders. We're keeping things in alignment. As we finished on the right again, we're going to gently turn to the centre. Again, the palms turning. Bring those hands again down, the lower dante and the navel, relaxing the shoulders. So our next move is a tipping move, it's lowering the head and the heart. So with this we're going to take the left hand high. We're going to keep the right hand low and we're going to tip and gently look down towards that foot. We're not forcing things, we're feeling a nice stretch through the side of the body. Remember to bring the hands back in and take the breath before moving to the next side. Again, this is one that we see where people can rush and just tip from side to side, but I'm keeping the movement slow. So some of you practice this with lifting a heel, so you can lift either heel and that just creates more of a bend. As always, you do what you want to do.
And notice how her upper arms are relaxed. The fingers, the wrists, beautiful hips all relaxed. Finish now as the right hand lifts above. Gently coming down, so we don't have to come all the way down to the ground. The emphasis is on keeping the back lengthened, using the strength of our legs to lift ourselves up. to do two more of these but again choose a number that feels good for you with the hands pressing downward and coming in again to our navel. So our next move is uh, extending fist, punching forward. So we bring the thumbs in, we curl the fingers around. And this is one where people can easily lift and arch the, their back, the shoulders, lift towards their ears. So again, remind yourself to lower your shoulders. And the fist is not Clench tightly, it's just relax. And as previous, we're going to start with the left side. And now notice where our lower body is. It's good sometimes to just bend and lower yourself down, remind yourself of the grounding of your Tai Chi. So don't lift the shoulders and gently extend away. We're not fully extending the arm. A light bend. Not gripping the thumb. You might wish to breathe out as you extend. Breathe in as you come back. gently rock on the spot. We keep the feet grounded, just balance your jaw on the spot. So 
some, for some people this is quite a nice massage in their lower back as well as the spine. when you're ready to do so just stopping settling down bringing your hands by your side bring your efforts in we like to finish with a little bow to say thank you for everybody